Hey, y'all want to do an unboxing? Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Friday night. It's kind of late. I want to do this really quick one take. Uh, it's a Monster Bass unboxing. Going to do it as fast as I can and just get some of these baits out here for you to look at to see what we got this week. Um, again, Monster Bass box. The last unboxing I did, I was not super crazed about what I got in it. Let's see if today is a little better. I can tell you right off the bat, it's much heavier. So let's see what we got. Ta -ta -na -ta. Oh, now I know why it's heavier. Looks like I got some eyeball heads here for jigs. It's called lifted jigs. Those are pretty heavy. Those are like, shoot, man. Those feel like half ounce or three eighths ounce at least. Then I got these little teeny weeny finesse shroom zigs. <laughs> I can't talk. Oh my God. These teeny weeny finesse shrooms jig heads. Let's check those out. I don't know where they go yet. We'll figure it out. This is actually really cool. Semi stoked about this. I don't even know what the, it's called a pro series six inch fatty. I think they looked at my last video and said, Joe wasn't real happy with what we gave him. Let's hook him up because this is kind of cool. Check this out. This thing's like a big swim bait. It's got a jointed center. It's got a paddle tail on the end. It's got so much going on. It's pretty cool. Let me, I'm going to pull that out. I want to see it. I don't know where the heck I would throw it, but what the hey, man. Oh, actually, it's not jointed. That's bizarro. Okay, so let's, let's take a quick look at this. So this bait right here, um, the front of it is hard as a rock, okay? And it's painted, and it's got some, what's going on? It's got a little thing, look. It's got a little gear. A, what the heck? What does it do? What does that do? I gotta, I gotta read it. I gotta read it. This is, this is the weirdest looking lure I've ever gotten. <laughs> what the heck? Uh -oh, I might have to put on the glasses. You guys ready for this? I go instant serial killer with these. Whoop. Gonna take your daughter? No, I'm not even, nope, nope. Sorry about that. What? So, lure reset. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so the way this works is the Pro Series has a vertical jig-like fall pattern and the tail has a tight wiggle. <clears throat> Spool tech lures are effective using a variety of techniques through the entire water column. Presentations include cranking, slow rolling, dragging, blah, blah, blah. Care. After each use, especially in salt water, fully deploy the leader and rinse it and then put it back in. Okay, so something's up here. I get what's going on. This is like a big bait. I would think you would use this for like uh, stripers in the bay or something. I mean, a bass would hit this for sure. It's not that big, but it's it's definitely weird. So let me, um, let me play with this thing. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm down. Guys, I'm okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. Check this out. Yeah. Look at that thing. That is so cool. Now, I don't know how it works. Okay. So this is a hook leader. Wait, wait, wait. I'm bumbling this all up. Okay. This is a hook on like a, a wire leader. This is a badass hook. And what happens is you got this little crank wheel. Oh, I see. Look at this. Ow, right in the hand. Okay, hang on. I got it. Okay, check this out. So I'm gonna, I'm being an idiot, so I apologize. <clears throat> so look at this, cranking it with the wheel. See, I got the wheel going here. This is just weird. And then I crank it in. Look, the hook is disappearo. It's going down in. And I think you stick it in there somehow. Oh yeah, there you go. Check this out. You crank it and you shove that hook into a little place where it sits and you tighten it in. I get it. So now what happens is when you get a bite, that hook is kind of, oh yeah, the hook is pinned in. And when you get a bite and you jam on that hook, 
it'll just come flying out with that leader and it won't use the bait as leverage to get off the hook. Very interesting concept. There's a lot going on there. I can see a lot of failure coming and I'm not sure what happens when that thing breaks, if they have replacements or what the dealio is, but hey, you know what? This is something that I would like to see in one of these bass boxes, something a little bit more out of the box. It's not something typical you're gonna see every day. That's what I want from these bait companies is something that's unusual, unique, and something I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy for myself. So that is a spool tech. Check that out. Okay, liquid mayhem. This is some fish bait scent. Again, this is another out of the box type of thing I would really like to see in these boxes. This is cool. This is what I like when I do these tackle box or these box unboxings is something that I wouldn't necessarily buy in the store for myself. All right, I'm gonna smell it. Hold on, let's see if it's even open. Nope. Do I even open this in my house? You know how this goes, right? You open this and then it squirts all over your house and your wife's like, what's that smell? You need to take a shower. Oh yeah, the hell, oh God. What the? You know how something smells so bad it almost smells good? That, yeah, that's, holy cow. It's like fish food with cat throw up in it. Yeah. Yep, you wanna use that. I'm gonna use that tomorrow. I got some plastic baits I'm gonna be throwing. Taking the liquid mayhem with me. We're gonna see what happens. All right. And this is from 13 Fishing. And I love what these things, how these little terms and stuff run here. This is called uh, a ninja craw with a ninja tail. So it looks like a hybrid between like a craw bait that you'd throw like on a jig or a Texas rig. And maybe one of those little flutter legs, you know, those little skitter frogs that are rubber that you, you kind of put the beast hooks on and you swim them across the top water. If you let them drop, they'll fall in. Check this out. This is very cool. These are like a green color, but you can tell those little legs would kick and flip on top of the water. But then again, you could use it as like, you know, like a creature bait. And what I love are some of these terms, super mega certified. Like, what does that mean? And look, it's, it's got donkey sauce in it. I, I'm not kidding. Everything needs donkey sauce and it's max buoyancy. So I wonder if it floats. Maybe it does. This one's called a number three boss nugget. Length is three inches, weight is three eighths of an ounce. And I don't know, maybe do these, would you use those in these? No, I don't think so. I wouldn't. I'm probably gonna use, well, I know what I'm gonna use here. I got some TRDs, these little finesse TRDs. I have a bunch of these already, but this is a good bait. This is a good quality box. I have to say like this one is a box that I can get behind, definitely. Um, so, hey, Monster Bass, top notch on this one. I like it a lot. Um, so I got my finesse TRD and my mushroom heads here. Just a quick review. I've got some really crazy looking green creature bait things from 13 Fishing called Ninja Craw, Ninja Tail, Boss Nuggets. There's so many words, I don't really know what it's called, but it does have donkey sauce. I love anything with donkey sauce on it. And I got some lifted jigs with some big ball heads. Everybody loves to have their jigs lifted with big ball heads and uh, liquid mayhem, baby. That stinks so bad. It's good. You want to sniff it once or twice. Oh, and don't forget the most incredible steel leader deploys after you hook up. I could have read that and it would have saved me a little bit of thinking. But anyway, got this big swim bait thing with a release hook with a wind up thing. That, that's cool. I think that's kind of neat. Um, have no idea how that would really work. Like if you hook set, will it pull out? Or does it hook set first and then pull out as the fish fights? I don't know. But I like it. Anyway, Friday night, I'm going frogging tomorrow. I'll see you guys on the water. You guys have a good one. Hang in there. Tight lines. Peace.